A new eruption in Yellowstone National Park that occurred over the weekend was captured on video by a newly installed webcam by the USGS. The eruption occurred Saturday night at Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin according to the US Geological Survey. The new webcam installed in Biscuit Basin is tracking activity at Black Diamond Pool, where a hydrothermal vent erupted last summer. Hydrothermal vents occur when water suddenly turns to steam underground. Hydrothermal vents are caused by what's called superheated water, which is water with a pressure between 212 degree Fahrenheit and 705 degree Fahrenheit. When superheated water gets trapped beneath the Earth's surface, it turns to steam and can eventually disrupt the rock covering it, erupting in a massive explosion, Michael Pollan said. These eruptions can be so powerful that, in addition to boiling water and steam, mud and rock fragments are often thrown several feet into the air. The webcam captured the eruption at Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin, just north of Old Faithful, at 8.39 p.m. The USGS has received several reports of other sporadic eruptions over the past year. While the May 31 eruption was the only one captured on official video, it was likely the result of the pool's hydrothermal piping system adjusting after a major disruption from a larger explosion. Hydrothermal explosions occur when hot water in a volcanic system turns to steam in a confined area. Larger more dangerous hydrothermal explosions have occurred at Biscuit Basin, sending steam and debris hundreds of feet into the air and damaging boardwalks used by park visitors. According to the USGS, there is monitoring data and eyewitness reports that indicate there have been sporadic eruptions at Black Diamond Pool several times since the last eruption. Officials say hydrothermal explosions typically occur at the park one to several times a year, but they often occur inland, where they may not be immediately detectable. Biscuit Basin is closed to the public to prevent visitors from being injured. Researchers have observed several smaller eruptions since then. Because hydrothermal vents can be deadly and can occur at any time, Visitors to Yellowstone National Park should follow guidelines set forth by authorities. The park's official website states, Visitors were in the basin during the explosion. A nearby trail was destroyed and some rocks near the explosion site weighed hundreds of pounds. Live streaming is not supported at Black Diamond Pool, however, Video is recorded on site and new images are uploaded to the US Geological Survey website every 15 minutes. Parking lots and trails at Biscuit Basin remain closed due to the possibility of additional hydrothermal vents. While scientists monitor the area where the explosion occurred, the National Park Service said the explosion was caused by the sudden change of water to steam in a shallow hydrothermal system beneath Black Diamond Pool and was not caused by volcanic activity. Seismicity, ground deformation, and gas and thermal emissions remain at normal background levels and no precursors have been detected for this event. With the possibility of changes to the hydrothermal plumbing system, USGS geologists continue to monitor conditions, mapping debris fields, and taking water samples to assess any changes.
Authorities have also issued several recommendations to ensure visitors stay safe while exploring one of the most popular parks in the U.S. Visitors are also reminded that toxic gases are common in the area. Travelers who suddenly feel unwell are advised to leave immediately.